divine central mass vapors i have some things to talk about it's gonna be absolutely crazy well actually maybe not that crazy so why am i so excited well let me tell you i'm always looking for the best vape okay and if i can remember back to the first time that i had this one specific feeling and i know you guys are gonna know what i'm talking about was when that first time that you had that smell, that taste, that vapor, that exhale, the inhale, the perfection that was in that mod or that atomizer or whatever, the perfect vape, the thing that made you realize how much you loved it, okay? I call it my aha moment, right? It's when I realized that there is such thing as the perfect vape. Okay, now it just so happened to be mine was, and I think it's a toss up, okay, because Warning Shot by Cold Fusion and Beantown Vapors Old Face, both of those really did it for me. I want to say Beantown really drove me in because that Old Face has been a constant in my life, okay. We tango constantly, okay. Uh, but I really do feel that Warning Shot came in there as well. But let's just talk about the new new right so it, it happens all the time now i chase that feeling i chase that smell that taste what is perfect about this okay and sometimes you go like this or sometimes you go like this that happens more than you know sometimes you go like this But then sometimes you go like this. <sighs> Whoever's been watching me from the beginning, what did I call that face? Drum roll, please. It's called the Felicia Rashad that shit. It means that I have found a flavor that makes my eyes roll back into my head, okay? If you don't remember what I mean by Felicia Rashad, Felicia Rashad played Mrs. Huxtable on The Cosby Show, right? And there was this one episode where Felicia Rashad was on a diet and she couldn't eat shit, right? So what did she do? She snuck downstairs while everybody's asleep and she found this food that she had the other night and she took her spoon and went and she slammed her hand down on the table and her eyes just like bugged out like it tasted so good she could have replaced that food with sex <laughs> that is my felicia rashad that shit it's that moment where you can't reach any higher Okay, your expectations are here and you just blew them out of the water. Okay, this happens to me not every day, but it does happen. I have great, great vapor friends on, online that I watch and listen to what they're vaping on. Some really, really great, great groups out there. Totally shout out to the Giant Vapes group. Awesome, awesome people. And of course, I just read profiles of different e-juice people and I just read, 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 and I find ones that sound appealing and I go for it. So I got one today and I'm telling you, I usually spend a good two weeks, three weeks sometimes on a juice before I even think about talking about it. For me, I just want to know how much I like it or how much I don't like it. And you know I don't do crappy reviews. I'll never come back here and tell you guys that juice sucks. It's just not going to happen. That's why I just do good juices I love, right? Anywho, let's get down to it. Today's juice, <laughs> I've got two people. It's been a great week. Two juices that have made my eyes roll back into my head. First one, drum roll please. It is Galil by Cold Fusion Juice. Yes, I said it. It's been a while since you've heard me say that name with a new juice, but it's happened. Cold Fusion's been teasing and teasing and teasing us for a while now with a new flavor called Galil, or G-A-L-I-L. -L. 
If you look next to me, uh, you can see the bottle. It's sexy, it's fun, it goes totally with their whole entire, like, you know, end of the world gas mask vibe, right? So, the only way that I'm going to be able to tell you guys about this flavor is by reading their product description, okay? They always have a little fun write-up, and I got to read it, because otherwise, I ain't going to do it right. Oh, hi. So, let's check it out. Gallo. Here we go. Actually, let me take a vape first. Remember when you reach level 20 of your favorite video game franchise and this weapon became available? It was a game changer. This high powered sensational assault will add the same revolution to your juice arsenal. This ain't your entry level flavor. This is a Max VG offering with a silky blend of high powered hazelnut and notes of rich creme brulee. Rip it, tank it, but just don't drink it, and you won't be disappointed. Don't be a zombie, be a trendsetter and connoisseur of one of the finest flavors you have ever tried. A lot of juice companies say that. This is the best flavor ever. This is the best flavor I've ever had. This is the best flavor we've ever put out. And 90% of the time, it's just not the case. It might be the case for some people, but it ain't the case for me. However, it is the case for me. Galil is one of the most complex flavors I've ever had. There are flavors coming out every single time I take a hit. From this sweet exhale to like that burnty, sugary like sensation on the uh, in the inhale, it really transforms every which way. Okay, and I'm telling you, one moment you feel like you're you're vaping on this extreme like vanilla custardy like deliciousness, and then all of a sudden you get this bizarre, and I say bizarre in a very good way, hazelnut action. Okay, and guess what? I hate hazelnut flavoring. I hate it. And I love this juice, okay? I've only had this juice for like a week and a half. I let it sit for a good five, six days before I took it out just because I, I just wanted it to be perfect. Most of Cold Fusion's juice comes ready to vape, but I wanted to leave it and vape it. I smelt it and I just could not, I couldn't break into it until I knew it was ready, okay? So let me take a quick vape off this thing. This juice, you have to vape in a certain way. You have to have a good build on there. You can't just vape it like you're vaping on a friggin', you know, $10 bottle of juice. You want to enjoy it. It is like fine wine. I am telling you, you know I don't go crazy over juice like this unless it's true, okay? I, for me, this is probably one of the best vapes I've ever had. That's saying something. You know what? I'm gushing. I'm going to end it. I'm gushing though. And I'm going to tell you guys this because it's important for me to, for you guys to know. And I'm pretty sure you know this already. I don't gain anything from doing these videos. Everything I do here in these videos is self-funded. I don't need to say anything nice. If you guys could see the juice that I have coming into me all the time and the stuff that I actually bring to these videos is very minimal. Okay? I don't talk about the juice that I don't like. So don't think because I don't have bad reviews that I'm somehow benefiting because God only knows why, how could I, you know? If I was benefiting, I'd have tons of giveaways, you know? So just for me, I had bring on this juice, I vape it and I'm blown away by it. And I think if you are into that kind of flavoring, you have to try this juice. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. There's a few places you can get it. I'm gonna leave the links to the at the bottom. But first and foremost, of course, you can buy this on their website. Uh, I believe it's just coldfusionjuice.com. It's $18 for a 30 ml bottle. Um, and I believe, looks like I have it right here. You can get this uh, in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18, uh, as well as you can get it in a 30 ml or 120 ml glass bottle and that's going to run you about 65 which I'm sorry I'm dropping 65 bucks as soon as I can because 
this stuff ain't leaving my side for a while. So be smart, grab 120 mil, and you'll be psyched. Um, you can also purchase this on giantvapes.com. They do not only tons of stuff for the community, but they offer the best juice selection known to man. They carry it, they stock it profoundly well. Uh, their customer service is absolutely downright the best customer service out there. And to top it all off, they have an amazing group with like 12,000 people in it. And everybody gets along. The Giant Vapes group is probably the only group on the internet on Facebook that gets along with each other. Like you never see any big bickering or drama. I'm not saying it's always perfect, but I'm telling you, I don't like a lot of groups and that one's pretty cool. So anyways, check them out. I will leave the link in the description for both of those, but I also always leave a link for Giant Vapes because there is a loyalty program, and if you use the link that I give you, and if it doesn't work down there, uh, message me, because sometimes if you're on a phone or something, it won't work right, but if it doesn't work right, message me and I'll get you the hookup. It gets you 10% off your order, um, or first time order, and then it hooks me up with points in their loyalty thing. So check them out and tell me what you think, okay? All right, guys. This is the second juice I'm bringing to you guys today. And this is, I think this is a first, okay, for a crispy divine juice time extravaganza, okay? I don't think in the history of my little videos have I ever brought you a juice that I got the same day. I know that the PB cereal from um, Charlie Noble, I didn't spend a lot of time with it, but I don't think it was the same day. This morning, I had some nice vape mail, okay? I got one from Giant Vapes and I got one from Vapor DNA, which Vapor DNA will talk about at another time, but they're a pretty good company. I kind of like them a lot. Anywho, Giant Vapes brought me some of my fabulous O-Face with one of these nifty little brown, uh, brown, Beantown Vapor Unicorn bottles. I love these things. I already put my O-Face in there. And I'm gonna let it go and steep for a while because it just needs to. Um, I also received a bottle of Gallo for Amanda because she wasn't having any mine. That was just not gonna happen. But I also took a leap, okay? I've been hearing a lot of good things about this company um, and I've seen some contests for them and you know, I've looked through their plate flavor profiles, seen one, and it really, really intrigued me. And I read through about 20, no, maybe it wasn't 20. Maybe I just read them all, the, the reviews on it. And everyone said the same thing. I mean, except for maybe one that was one that was like, ah, it was not for me, but whatever. All of them said that they loved it. And the flavor is called Crave. Very, very fitting. The name of the company is Thirst. Have you heard of them? I don't know. These guys come from St. Louis, okay? Uh, and I don't know how new they are, but I know they are newer. I believe they, they, they were founded in 2014, okay? And I know they were not, they're newer to Giant Vapes, okay? Um, not the newest, but they're newer, okay? Now, you guys are going to be absolutely shocked when I tell you what the flavor is behind this because it's completely, not completely, but it's for the most part com really out of my flavor profiles that I dig, okay? Let me read you the description here on Giant Vapes, okay? Sweet, savory, and just like mom used to make, you'll surely crave the crave after one puff of this delicious cinnamony, okay, that's me, fresh baked apple pie blend. Yeah, apple pie. I don't think I've ever had an apple pie that I've liked, okay? I don't, I mean, I just haven't found one and I just don't like those types of flavors. It fi I just never find them satisfying. I find them to be, okay, That's a, that tastes good. Wow, that's really weird that it tastes like that. And then after like 10 minutes, I'm completely sickened by them. <sighs> Not with this, okay? I got this sitting on this point to ohm dual coil uh, on the CLT V2 on my BC box mod that I turned into a Bean Town Vapor. I know it's pretty like I'm, it's I'm like a fanboy. Anyway, I got it's the Halo Switch, which we're gonna talk about this as well. Uh, but 
first off, let's stick with the juice, okay? I'm gonna take a vape. We're gonna talk a little bit about this and um, then we'll uh, move on. But first, yeah. This juice has absolutely nothing bad about it. It's one of the most insane, flavorful, addicting. The apple is so perfect. There is nothing fake about this, okay? A lot of times when I feel like I vaped a, an apple pie, I either think of an apple pie from McDonald's, but not even the crust of it, just like the inside crap or like one of those table talk pies, you know? This to me tastes like one of those big ass apple uh, pastries that you get at like a bakery, right? When it's got all that sweet flaky yumminess on the outside, like a donut-y type thing. And then inside hiding is like that apple filling, okay? It is so good. It is balanced perfectly. You taste apple, you taste cinnamon, and then you taste them together. It, it stays on your tongue. You know, it's something that you can just go mm, and you taste it. I'm telling you, I've never brought a juice to my videos on the first day I vaped it. And I don't think that tomorrow I'm going to be like, oh, that's gross. I've been vaping it. It is so delicious. And I'm a fan of the flavor. And I'm very much a fan of the bottle as well. I'm going to put a nice screenshot next to me. Uh, but this thing is just cool. It just looks neat. It's got a bear of some sort um, biting the rectangle that says thirst. And I like it because it's a T-H-R-S-T, not T-H-I-R. Um, and uh, it's got the warning on here. It's got uh, the ingredients, of course, um, so that's cool. Um, you know, got the childproof bottles. Uh, this is also very affordable juice. $16.99 for a 30 ml bottle. Uh, you can get this uh, in <clears throat> uh, 0, 3, 6, and 12. It comes in a glass dripper bottle. Uh, it's 40 PG, 60 VG. Uh, and their description is like the primary flavors is apple pie, bakery, and cinnamon. Like I said, I don't really taste an apple pie. I taste that big. I think they call it a bear claw. I could be completely wrong. I know I've had some that call bear claw and there's been apple in it, but I could be wrong. But just if you go to like a, a bakery and they have the big ass things and you break it open and there's like that delicious bakery cinnamony uh, apple in there. So good. And what's really cool about this juice is not only can you taste that apple, you know, pie filling type thing, but you can taste that fresh apple aside from it being mixed in that. You know what I'm saying? Like you bite in an apple, that fresh apple tangy feeling, uh, flavor, and then you get that creamy, like, you know, apple pie filling. And then at top of it, it's that cinnamony, doughy, holy cow, flaky. I'm telling you, the stuff is absolutely amazing. You can tell the people that made this juice put time and effort into really, really honing in on what this flavor is supposed to be. And I don't think they settled for anything less than perfection because this stuff is out of control good, okay? Honestly, done. Wow, so good. And I got this in a dripper, but it's 40, 60, you know, 40 PG, 60 v, P, v, VG. Definitely something you can stick in a tank, which I absolutely will. And I can totally think that would be a really, really great idea. Um, so, so far, these juices have wowed me to no end, okay? So I am just completely ecstatic by this. Um, so anyways, uh, definitely check them out. You can find these guys on none other than Giant Vapes as well. So you can go run over there. You can get a bottle of this. You can get a bottle of Galil. You can get a bottle of everyone's favorite O-Face. Uh, and, you know, hit it. Hit a, hit a double team. Get a bowl. Get a bowl. Get a bowl. So there you have it, guys. Two juices that Crispy Divine completely bugged out about.
It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it is something else. Now, next up on Juice Time with Crispy Divine, I'm gonna bring you guys a full entire line of juices. I've heard some amazing things from all kinds of different people that really, really dig this stuff. Plus, it's kind of different, so we'll talk about it next time. But the cool thing about it is I'm going to actually have a full contest about it. I'm gonna give the entire line away in 30 ml bottles. If you wanna get a jump start on this, go over to my Instagram page. It's at Central Mass Vapors, and go ahead and follow me there. That is where I'm going Going to announce the contest. It's going to be sometime after my review, which will be coming up next week. It's not going to be as much of a review as it is just me talking about the juices, explaining the flavor profiles, and then giving the whole entire thing away. You feel me? You feel me? Special thanks to Claire Huxtable for showing up at this episode. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time. And remember, Give me a subscribe, give me a like, share the video if you really want your friends to see it, that'd be cool too. I'm always on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, as you already know. And um, let's vape, let's save it, and let's love it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about what you're talking about, but I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm.